So recently there has been a bit of data mining going on in Battlefield and it has uncovered a really interesting bit of information. A new game mode, 32 versus 32 all out warfare called Invasion will be coming to the game in the near future. This was data mined by Temporal, he's the guy that usually data mines everything in Battlefield 5 including weapons, vehicles, new modes, maps and of course the big updates. Whilst he might not get everything correct, he does say, as you see with this image, info based on data mining, take it with a grain of salt. I'd also definitely stress that just because it's in the files doesn't mean it will necessarily be in the game at all. Now my opinion on data mining is really, I don't like it that much because it ruins the surprise, but if DICE aren't going to give us the teasers and trailers that we really want, and they're leaving this stuff in the game files for people to look at, we might as well cover it. I'm looking forward to this mode, unfortunately it looks like it will be a limited time mode in a similar way to Grind, Rush and Fortress, other modes like that, that DICE will give us for a few weeks and then remove. Being a 64 player mode, this places it in the same category as Breakthrough and Conquest. Of course, there are a few other variations with 64 players that we might be able to get hold of when custom servers come out, but for the most part, it's Conquest and Breakthrough. We get two rounds per map, meaning that maybe it will be one on either side in a similar way to Breakthrough, where you will play as the attackers and then have a go as the defenders, or maybe it's another approach with that. The idea with the mode is to destroy enemy resources whilst protecting your own and eliminate enemy troops and resources to win. Now what that means is if we look at Conquest as an example, you cap flags and kill enemies to win the game. This mode will require you to destroy the resources and kill enemy troops. Almost like you do in Conquest, you protect your flags but you also try and take other ones. In addition to those resources, you will also have a few other new things that we haven't seen in the game before. The barracks will give you the ability to spawn more troops, and the naval resources look like almost a battery onto land. No info is available, but I really think it's going to be almost like the artillery barrage, but coming off one of the ships that you see on Iwo Jima, for example. We then have the tank factory, which gives players the ability to have tanks on that map. Maybe the more resources you kill or protect, the more tanks you gain access to. And the same would go for the airfield as well. If you capture the airfield, maybe you get access to planes, or if you destroy it, you prevent the enemies from gaining those planes. Finally, the radar station. This gives you the ability to spot enemy players. People are quite excited for this new mode. When I'm taking a look at the Reddit comments, I see people talking about the older battlefields. If you wanted planes in some of the older battlefield games, you had to capture the airfield. If you wanted heavy tanks, you had to capture the flag in order to get it. In Battlefield 4, we had a lot of flag assets, which weren't always balanced, but essentially, if you captured a certain flag, a vehicle would spawn on it, and then anyone from your team could take it from the menu, or any player on the map could steal it from where it spawns. This made for some very interesting and tactical battles. Maps like Rogue Transmission could turn in one direction or another, depending on whether you got the attack helicopter or the AA gun. It's really quite an interesting dynamic. I do know from experience that DICE sometimes have trouble recreating what occurs in a public server when testing these things. Sure, they will have extensively tested this mode and they'll have had lots of games with the developers and playtesters to make sure that it actually works, but you don't quite get the same experience until you let it loose with the public. I know for a fact that when in some playtests or playing things early, the game plays really well, it's always super balanced, everyone's having a great time playing the objective. When it then goes out in the public, people play in a completely different way and it doesn't quite have the same impact. I think really this is going to be one that we have to wait and see, play it, for all I know it could be a massive success, but it does seem like there are lots of variables that could make this game incredibly imbalanced. Hopefully DICE also introduce a team balancer at some point in the future, maybe alongside this mode, so we can have multiple games in a row without players leaving en masse and then the server not balancing out, and that's something I really wish they would address. So just a short one today looking at this new mode, 
I thought it was worth letting you know because I've been wanting another 64 player mode in the game for a while, but I'm also missing some of those limited time modes that DICE decided to snatch away from us when we were all having so much fun. Thanks for watching, leave your opinions of this new mode that has been data mined down in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.